New video into the CBS 4 newsroom tonight and watch as a sushi place in Doral gets a new drive through tonight, not one they wanted. CBS 4's David Sutter live in Doral with more on what happened. David. Yeah, as you can see, the business is all boarded up. They're going to be closed for at least a few days. It, it could have been a lot worse. The cleanup is underway at Sakai Sushi Bar after a Range Rover crashed through the storefront Monday afternoon. The surveillance camera inside the restaurant capturing it all. It was really bad. Actually, it's scary. Manager Andres Uribe says the man behind the wheel of the SUV had just finished eating and left with a woman. I was fixing the table and talking to my employees, and out of nowhere, I mean, the car went through, though. The car was parked right in front of the store when it went from zero to bang in a matter of seconds. But I guess he was distracted, or I don't know, he was talking to the phone, or he was with his uh, wife, I think. And then uh, that's it. Doral police said the driver didn't appear intoxicated. He told them he just claims to have missed the, the brake and hit the gas pedal and jumped the curb and proceeded through the window. Thankfully, the restaurant was empty at the time. Ten minutes before the incident happened, we had a, a couple sitting actually in this side of the, of the restaurant. And then, I mean, thank God, I mean, nobody was in the restaurant. The driver facing a number of charges. Apparently, he shouldn't have been behind the wheel. The driver was cited for distracted driving and a criminal infraction of driving without a Florida license. Where is he from? He's from abroad. So no driver's license at all? None at all. He had an expired license from his country of origin. The city of Doral is going to be issuing emergency permits to get the work done here as fast as possible. The business telling us they hope to be open in a week or two. We're live in Doral tonight. David Sutter, CBS 4 News tonight. David, thank you. Now